Okay, let's go mask-free today for this quick video. I'm Don Sackett, founder, co-founder, CEO of PsyApps, and today we're gonna to talk about this great new handheld x-ray analyzer for PMI. So let's start off with the home screen. This was designed for PMI. I'll show you why that's true in a second. When you hit analyze, you get a couple of choices. You get your general alloy testing, big part of PMI, but the latest hot topic is residuals. So we put a dedicated app on there to look at residuals, which is copper, chrome, nickel, niobium, vanadium. And the nice thing about that app is it's de it, it dials in the calibration for those in steel and it reports the sums and you can make a very quick determination if you're above or below that 0.15% uh, threshold value. And then finally, it's got a sulfitic corrosion uh, app on there. Same story, dialed in right on silicon and steels to know quickly if it's above or below 0.1% silicon. So the nice thing about doing this in an app-based format is if you're doing alloys, you want to test for maybe just a couple of seconds most things. But if you're doing residuals, you might you need to test about 15 seconds to see that nickel and that vanadium down around 0 0.01, 0 0.02. And if you're doing sulfitic corrosion, you need the two beams because you need the beam one to know it's a steel, you need the beam two to, to uh, look at the silicon. So you don't want your operators having to fiddle with settings and change testing times in the field when they're going from application to application. So we put it all into some nice apps. They hit the button, the unit's pre-configured and ready to test. So let's do some residuals first. Someday I'll learn to say that word. Um, take a simple quick sample, put it down here. Not to ignore my radiation safety training, you'll see after a few seconds, you're getting your copper, your chrome, nickel, copper, vanadium, we'll scroll up to that niobium, but it also tells you your CNC value, it sums them up, about 0.14%. And so this would pass on uh, chrome, nickel, copper, but you see it will fail the 0.03 threshold on niobium plus vanadium. Vanadium's nice and low, down around 0.012, but niobium in the sample's high, it's about 0.04. So that would fail on the niobium vanadium, but it would pass on the copper, chrome, nickel, whatever your, your requirement is. And that is how you do residuals. Next, let's go back to our home screen and analyze, and we'll pick sulfitic corrosion. Same story. Now remember, this has been preset to be optimal, calibrated, and dialed in for sulfitic corrosion. Let's take this sample, hit the trigger. You'll see in a few seconds it says it's a steel. Flips over, there's your silicon result, just above 0.1%. Might want to fail that, given how close it is to your threshold. Completed test in about five or six seconds. Now let's flip over to a different sample. Same thing, hit that trigger. After one second, it's a steel. Now you're measuring your silicon. And you'll see this is a low one. This is down around 0.06. Silicon well below the 0.1% threshold. Five or six seconds, you're done. So in about 15 seconds, you got a really solid residuals test, about five or six seconds, a really good sulfitic corrosion test. And if you're just doing simple alloy stuff all day long, that is easy, easy, easy. That is just about a one second test, 360 and then you're done. So that is the latest and greatest in x-ray technology. This thing is, well, it's under three pounds, the latest one ever made. It's all metal body here, so it's got exceptional heat dissipation, exceptional durability, and it's just a beautiful design. You really want to try this. This thing is a joy to, to use all day long. Thank you.